In this tutorial, we will be dimensioning a floor plan in AutoCAD. In a previous video, we set up layer properties and our dimension style, so we should be good to go. To start putting dimensions, I'm going to go to my Annotate tab. And there's a couple of different options that I have. If I select this drop down here under Linear, you can see that there's different options depending on what I'm going to be dimensioning. For my plan here, everything will fall under linear. I'm going to check my snaps to make sure everything is on. And we won't do the entire structure, but I'll show you a couple of different things to watch out for. So let's go ahead and do this first exterior wall. Let me zoom in a little bit. Some architectural firms request that all inside dimensions are on the inside of the structure and all exterior are on the outside of the structure. Again, think of your end user. Sometimes we need to put inside dimensions on the outside just so that we were able to, to see everything that we need to. So let's start dimensioning this front wall. So I'm in Arch 48. I want to make sure that my dimension layer is current. So I'm going to select Annotate, Linear, so I'm going to select my corner, my second corner, and I'm going to pull that out. We typically want our overall dimensions to be the furthest out, and then as we work towards the structure, we're going to include more detail. So I'm going to select that about right here. And let's go ahead and do the doors and the windows as well. So for the door in wood frame construction, which this cabin is, I'm typically going to go to the center of the door or the window opening. If it was concrete or concrete block, I would go to the sides. But for here, I'm going to go to this corner and we're going to go to the middle. Now, I don't have a place to grab onto with a snap. So if I hit Control and while holding Control, press the right mouse button, I get mid between two points. And so I'm going to select this as my first point, that's my second point, and then I'm going to pull that down. Let's go ahead and select Control right click, mid between two points, select this one and this one, and I'm going to select the middle of that window. And I could put it anywhere I want, so let's do that. I'll do that a couple of times. So technically that's correct. I could go in the field and I could build this structure, but it doesn't look very good. So I want to modify these dimensions so that they all line up. So I've hit Escape. I'm going to select this dimension. And I'm going to drag this blue grip down until it matches this other dimension. I'm going to hit Escape, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So click on it, and I'm going to drag this one up to here. And now they're all nice and aligned, which looks a lot better. Now, I don't need a dimension here, because mathematically, I can take 16 minus these other dimensions, and that would be what's left. But what I do want to do is to mark this wall. I'm going to select Linear. I'm going to go from here to here. And I'm, again, I'm going to align it. And I put my leader there. But I want to drag that down a little bit. It's a little too high, so I'm going to move this over to... Let's go right here. Hit Escape, so that looks good. So one, one issue is that I need to indicate that this is the width of all of the walls unless I say otherwise. The way we typically do this is by typing the dimension and then TYP for typical. So in order to change this text, if I double click on it, I get a text box that appears and I can type in TYP. Let me drag this over a little bit to make it larger. Click over here. All right, so let's move in here. So everything looks good. You notice that all of these lines are aligned except for this one. 
So I'm going to fix that by clicking on it. And I'm going to click this blue grip and I'm going to pull it straight down to here. And now they're all nice and aligned. It looks good. So let's move inside and do a couple of dimensions. So let's do this room right here. So linear. And I'm going to select, in this case, the inside. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to bring it up here like this because it's blocking that doorway and blocking that window. And it just looks bad. So I'm going to pull this down to about maybe right there. Hit escape. And that way I can line up other text that goes across as well. Another thing I want to be very careful of is putting a dimension on top of another dimension, even if it's just a line. In some cases, I might cover up something, a value, that would be underneath this line and cause issues during construction. So what I like to do is I'm going to drag this down so that it what I like to do is make it so that the lines cross and that the text the dimensions themselves are not too close. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's do the hallway. So I'm going to pick these two points and I'm going to come up to that point and I'll pick inside of here and you notice I get my leader that shows up again I can click on my leader and I can move that around depending on where I want to go let's do one more let's do from corner to corner pull that up so now I've got a nice string going across there that identifies all of those dimensions So I could put a dimension here, but I think it would probably be better here because then I can go across and I'm not in the way of the door. So let me put one here. Now technically I could leave both, but that's redundant and I don't need that. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to put one inside the room and I'm going to align it with that one. I've got a few more to do. Again, I'm going to align this one with that one. So you notice I have a line crossing inside the dimension. Again, what if that were an 8? That might cause confusion. So I'm going to grab this blue dot, this grip, and I'm going to pull it over. I need to actually align these, so I'm going to zoom in and align these. That looks a lot better. Zoom out a little bit. So I have more dimensions that I need to put on, but that's the basics of how to dimension a floor plan in AutoCAD.